Hi guys, I'm Wombat and maybe you're watching this video because you have the Toby eye tracker and to you I say congratulations, you have the best eye tracker or head tracker for ETS2 and ATS if you're on 138 or later. But gosh, how I wish it would work in other games as Train Simulator or Z Corsa or other games as well. Or maybe you're here because you're thinking about buying an Toby Eye Tracker 5, but you're not really sure that you're gonna do that because maybe it doesn't support the games you want it to support. Well, to both of you, I have great news. You can make Toby Eye Tracker both 4C and 5 work with literally any game out there. With the help of a PC application called FaceTrack No IR, we can emulate basically any type of tracking device we want. This is obviously not an app that requires you to have an eye tracker. It will work with almost any tracking device out there. But since I try, Toby Eye Tracker is what we are focusing on today, that is what I will use. I will also state, and let me be very clear on this, the uh, Face Track No IR is not an application by Toby, so although it works, don't expect Toby Help Desk to support you if you have any problems using Face Track No IR. With that said, I also want to point out that installing this application will not affect your eye tracker in any of the games where you already use the Toby eye tracker, as long as you do as I do. Use the application for games Toby doesn't already support. And it's very easy, although you can configure this application to start automatically every time you start the PC. I do it the same way I did with my old tracking device, and that is simply starting the application every time I want to use it only. It isn't perfect. What makes iTracker 5 such an awesome tracker on ETS2 and ATS for 138 and later versions is the simplicity and accuracy. And in games not officially supported by Toby, the eye tracker will be just as hard to configure as every other devices out there. But on the other side, it isn't harder than any other devices either. FaceTrack No IR has been on the market for a very long time and it used to be available for free, but due to, let's just say, recent events, the developer has been forced to char start charging for it and the price is very reasonable. It's only gonna set you back three and a half euros, basically a cup of coffee here in Sweden. Its support for eye tracker by Toby is relatively new as well. Fact is that its current uh, plugin only officially supports eye tracker 4C, but I've tested it and it works just as well with eye tracker 5 as it does with eye tracker 4C. Installation is relatively easy. You install the Face Track No IR application, then you install the Toby eye tracker 4C plugin, and then the protocol pack. And once that has been installed, uh, you start the face track no wire application and configure it and this is, is pretty easy as well and after downloading you just install the three different packages in the same order you downloaded them once that is done you start up the face track no IR application and just for the sake of it let's select the Toby 4c profile file here and then we need to use the Toby 4C head and eye tracker. There is no Toby 5 yet. The filter, Akela filter, MK2, not the EWMA filter. I'm using the Akela filter instead. And then I'm using face track. Now, depending on what kind of game you play, you might want to use uh, one of these other protocols instead, but for this test, I'm using FaceTrack 2.1. Don't worry about a second source or a second game protocol. Instead, just press go. And at this point, it's time to verify that it works. I'm just gonna use a set of Corsa, but you can use any game or application that supports Track IR. 
If you want to use the tracking in a game that doesn't support track IR, maybe it supports some other type of device instead, and this might force you to change the protocol you use. But this is a set of Corsa, and it supports the protocol that I set the face track no IR application to use. At this point, we only want to verify that it works. It doesn't matter how good or bad it works, we just want to make some movements in the game to see that it actually does something. The difficulty lies in the calibration we now have to go through. And there's a ton of things we could talk about regarding the interface here for Face Track No IR. Uh, I'm gonna go through the basics because this is not an in depth video in any way, this is just an introduction. You have profiles and these allows you to save different settings for different games. Quite often, if you're using similar games at least, you probably will be able to use the same settings, but some games might require other protocols for instance. So for that, profiles are pretty handy. We already went through the tracker source here, you only have the Tobii Eye Tracker. But you can also use a second device as well if you want more accuracy perhaps. Uh, you have filters which makes it smoother. Uh, to, to work with. I'm only used to the Akella filter, I can't say anything about the EWMA filter and I've never touched these <laughs> settings. Uh, we have uh, different game protocols as we talked about earlier and when you use some of them you might have to repair the NP client. Just locate the DLLR, it's pretty self-explanatory. And you can also use a second game protocol. I guess this could be helpful perhaps if you're not really sure which protocol a game uses. You could possibly use two at the same time. Maybe one of them work and just leave it like that. Uh, then we have the start and stop buttons for the actual tracking. Up here we have, um, well, you can open different uh, ini files. So that is the settings files. You can load them here as well. Under options, we have the preferences for the game. We just start it automatically or manually, and I prefer to have it set to uh, disabled so that I have to uh, start it up manually and I have the interface visible to me while I'm running it. Uh, we have some webcam and keyboard mouse cut shortcuts here as well. I'm not gonna go through them. And we have then shortcuts for how to start and stop the face tracker. If you want to do that, I'm not going to go through it. The center button here is something you probably remember from my last video. This one, I always have that handy. <laughs> uh, what we need to focus on today is this. So, the tracking curves. These are the most important things. We have jaw, which is turn your head to left and right, so jaw, funny enough, it's not jaw right, it's just jaw, uh, decides how many degrees you uh, move your face, 90 degrees in this case, when you move your head 50 degrees. Maybe that is not enough, maybe you want it to uh, say Set it to 45 degrees, so 45 degrees of actual movement of your head means that in-game you will then turn your head 90 degrees. Same for the left jaw, I'm not really sure why you would have these separately from each other. Uh, but you can, so you can have this one, but well, you can say that when I turn to, to the right, I just want the game to turn my head 90 degrees, but when I do it to the left, I wanted to do 180 degrees instead, twice as much. Not sure when that would be handy, but it's definitely possible to do that. Same thing for pitch up and down. You can have pitch up uh, to, as I have, 30 degrees. I don't need to look at the sky, but maybe I like to see my feet in game when I'm driving or racing or hauling. Uh, so I have more pitch down than I have pitch up. Roll, uh, well that is when you turn your head, as you can see, like this. And I'm not using that whatsoever, I just, that makes me seasick if I do. But if you like to get seasick, just set it to max 50 degrees, 180 degrees. You know what, 
make it uh, make it two or three degrees. You can't barely roll your head at all before you <laughs> turn upside down. Can't really see when that would be uh, useful in any game, but it's entirely up to you what you want to do here. And I'm not gonna lie, you will be looking at this screen quite a few times. I know, because I did when I configured my old device for ETS2 and ATS, and being new to head tracking at the time, I was close to giving up a couple of times. I think my best tip here is to be methodical about it. There are three axes to consider. Focus on one of them at the time. Turn off the rolling and up-down movement if you like, and make sure you find a setting for moving your head from side to side that really works to begin with. Don't verify that by just moving your head around a couple of times. Spend a couple of hours at least with the settings you think you are satisfied with because over time, as you get more relaxed and used to the head tracker, the settings will quite possibly have to change because you're moving your head differently. And expect to do minor adjustments to the already set axis once you start adding other axes as well. Again, over time, be prepared to make additional adjustments as you get more used to the tracking of several axes. I personally spent a couple of months adjusting it on my old device before I finally was happy with it. But it's worth it, and what you end up with is a device that works just beautifully in the game it has native support for, and pretty good in the rest of them as well. And to make it even better, I suspect that future support for ET5 in Phase Track No IR will make it even better for those who have the improved hardware in ET5. As it is right now, I don't think the current ET4C plugin fully take advantage of the hardware we have on iTracker 5. If this video made you rethink your stand on whether to buy the Toby Eye Tracker or not, I have an affiliate link to it in the video description. If you want to buy the ET5, I encourage you to use that link when you purchase the device. It will give me a small amount of profit and enables me to not only make better videos, but over time it will allow me to do more videos like this and my other videos on Toby Eye Tracker 4C and 5. And with that said, Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe as well. And till next time, take care everyone. Bye bye.